Hello everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome back to our Now here we'll be starting with the accessories for needlework. Here you can see that there's scissors, thimbles, some needles, and more accessories. And here are more a toil DMC flask collection and there's also these little balls of DMC which are from the Perle collection. And as you can see here are more accessories there are bobbins and floss organizers.
Now if you turn around you can see that you can start seeing what would be the hoops and the Q-snaps. Once again they have a lot of variety, you can choose whichever size you'd like. These two that you see here are tunnel colors that they added to the store. They're in this light pastel color, which we thought was very beautiful. And the rest are some that we usually use for our cross stitch projects. Now this tiny section that you see over here would be for punch needle. They have a few punch needle kits. Now we've reached what will be the fabrics. These are Ada's, Even Weaves, Ugana's. Now we've reached what would be the kits. They have what would be the tiniest kits to the most biggest ones from beginner level to a more advanced level of cross stitch. They have dimensions kits, artiste, which are very good kits, and they have two or three of Riolis. <laughs> Thank you. 
wanted to show you very quickly what would be the fabric section of the store. The day that we were recording this video over at the store, the majority of the fabrics were on clearance and we like to pass by this section every time that we visit the store to see if they have any theme of fabric, any prints that we think that might suit well any of our cross stitch project bags and we spend just a few minutes looking around.
Now these that you see here are what would be burlap. They do have different colors. Then this would be a fabric material for making, let's say, some blankets. You can make them personalized or you can even use them, these fabrics, to make sweaters. And then there's also this type of fabric that is in a wool material. Now we've reached a little tiny section that they have of buttons. As you can see, they're different colors, sizes, and designs. Some of them are with little animals and pets. Other have a more traditional style. And some have what would be sparkles. Others are more matte. And now we've reached what would be the section of sewing materials. For example, this is a rotary cutter that you can use for cutting fabric. Then there's more scissors and more materials for what would be sewing. And these would be the dyes that we use for when we're going to be dyeing the fabric of cross stitch. We like to dye it at home and these are actually the tints that we use for that. As you can see, there's more materials of what would be sewing. And honestly, they are very useful for cross-stitch or embroidering as well. Before we leave this first door, we also wanted to show you the knitting section. So if you like crochet, you're going to enjoy this section of the store. They have different materials. Some of them are cotton, others are in different materials. It depends on the collection and on the brand.
And as you can see here, we were showing you some sewing needles that we needed for a sewing machine. We needed to stock up on those. So here would be where they sell those sewing needles and where they also sell some thread for sewing. They have the sections all combined in the store. So these would be the needles that you use for what would be knitting and they have different sizes, different materials. You can acquire the one that suits best what you're knitting or the material that you like to use for crochet. Well now we've reached what would be store number two, which is named Michael's. And as you can see, this store is smaller than the first one, but they do sell a lot of craft ma materials, anything from mini anything from knitting and cross stitch, any needlework. They do have a few materials in this store also. Here they were selling a few cotton balls of knitting, basically because they were on clearance and they needed more space in the store. Now we've reached what would be the cross stitch section of this store. You can see that they first have some hoops. And right next to it they have what would be the Ada's, all the cross stitch fabric. And next to that section, they have cross stitch kits. They have different sizes and designs, but they also have kits of traditional embroidery and of punch needle.
and if we walk a little bit more you can see that we've reached more uh, knitting supplies and over there where you see the frames is where they frame the cross stitch projects we know of some stitchers that have done it but we've honestly never framed any of our cross stitch projects and we don't know if this store specifically offers that service now we've reached more cross stitch accessories you can see that they have all the dmc flosses they have a less amount than the first store but they have it here on display And the knitting section is combined with the cross stitch one in this door. These are some needlework flosses, again, from what would be the brand of this store, which is not DMC. But personally, although they are very good flosses, we really like the brand Artiste that sells in Hobby Lobby. Now we've reached what would be the magazine section. Here they sell some books and some magazines. Now they don't sell any cross stitch ones, but they do sell embroidery, traditional embroidery, crochet, knitting, sewing magazines. So if you're into that type of magazine style, you can get those here, at least in our store. They don't have any cross stitch, but they do have those. And now here would be the sewing section of this particular store. Again, they have accessories, sewing machines, and any materials that you might need. And then lastly, we were looking at the clearance section and we found these little DMC balls of Perlay. We got them on a very good price of 10 cents. And we also got these embroidery box of flosses that we like to gift every time that we ship out a project bag. And well, that was all for today's video. We hope that you enjoyed going to the cross stitch store with us and that you enjoyed this little tour of, of the two cross stitch stores that we have nearby. If you'd like to see more videos that have to do with crafting, with needlework, with cross stitch, then feel free to join our floss tube. And that would be all for today's video. We'll see you in a next video. Bye!